So now I, that I have taken the third step, I have to prepare myself to really accept the change, the transformation of reaching my goal. To be that person who has, in this case, this extra money. It's I feel now that I've taken the third step. Already my relationship to the money has changed. And it is not as alluring, not as attractive anymore as it was before I started out on this journey. Because now I know the price I'll have to pay and how I'll have to become different. I'll have to change and grow to become a person can be a rich person. And always before we reach our goal, there's this moment of hesitation. Because if we reach our goal, it is kind of like finalizing our journey. But often there's a fear, like then it won't be just a dream anymore or an illusion. We'll have to deal with reality and reality it's a lot tougher to deal with than all our dreams and all our hopes. We'll have to face the consequences of our actions, of all we did and will have to do to get there. So also feel for yourself. Are you really ready to be that person, to be in that situation? To have that responsibility, to have those maybe uh, corpses you've walked over to get to where you want to be. Was it really worth it? You're now looking back towards the steps you've already taken. Does it still feel like the right thing to move forward towards your goal? Think about that and feel into that with both your ego, in this case my ego would be quite relieved to move forward and to have the power of money, and the heart, who is in a way less enthusiastic about it because it feels that money and possessions, all worldly possessions are just a distraction and like a fog which is between my consciousness here and the spiritual reality and the rest of the cosmos. So here again I'm feeling that my ego wants to move forward but my spirit is holding me back. So again I'll need to harmonize myself before being able to take the next step. So the ego is fine, but the heart has to find a way to organize it, to make such a change that it becomes acceptable. And maybe I won't be able to have as much spiritual experiences or clarity as I would as a poor person. But maybe I can be of a benefit, greater benefit to others. And I can sacrifice myself that way. By working for their advancement, their betterment. Supporting artists maybe. Supporting other spiritual researchers. Having the opportunity to research more myself or to write maybe books myself. I feel now that my heart is no longer blocking it, it's also not, still not completely happy about it, but it's willing to take this last step. So let's do that now and feel what it is like now to have that fat wallet, that big bank account.
and feel what it really is that you've been working towards and compare it to your dream when you started out. So I notice that compared to the dream, the feeling I'm having now, this content, this power, this stability, but it's not as playful or happy as it was in my dream. It turns me into a much more serious person. I would say into almost a much more older or more adult person. To have traveled this journey and to have reached this goal. And no matter what I will do, what childhood dreams I may try to fulfill, that old person I left behind won't come back. It has been sacrificed to the journey, to the goal, to achieve this state of financial security. Now that we've reached our end goal, we can try to reevaluate it. And if we are still in agreement with it, then it's very likely that we will be able to attain it. But if not, then it's very likely that we will stop ourselves from fulfilling our dream 